Sports. I'm here at the first robotics championship. Now, the man responsible for this whole event, he is Dean Kamen. He's founder of DECA. Dean holds more than 400 patents, and you may know him best as the inventor of the Segway. I caught up with him in the middle of all this madness to talk about what really sparked this initiative over two decades ago. Do you feel like when you look at this country, and I think we have such a battle right now about setting the tone for our future, whether it's from government, whether it's from private sector, that we're a little lost right now. We're really lost right now. What concerns me is the pendulum swings always to an irrational end one way or the other. We now have people that say we shouldn't spend money on anything. Knowledge is the best investment. It always returns the best interest. It's Look at this crowd. Look at this crowd. I mean, this, this is the future to you. We're either going to invest, really invest, not spend. Right. But we've just given these kids, this generation, a couple of trillion dollars of our debt to pay off, in addition to building their own wealth and their own life. We've dumped that debt on them and we put them in a hole. At least we ought to give them a shovel. At least we ought to give them some tools to dig their way out. And in the 21st century, the tools that kids are going to need are technical competence, competitiveness, the ability to create solutions to real problems. It, that's what this country is in desperate I mean, need of. Why did you, Dean, initially? You started first many 20 years ago. 20 years ago. 20 years. It's pretty remarkable. I mean, what was your initial thinking about why you did this? this. We have a culture that is obsessed with sports and entertainment. That's not a bad thing. Mechanics. We need a president who really understands the power of technology, that that's what creates wealth. We're in a situation where we need to do that. Do you feel like the administration we have right now understands the power of technology? In a couple of hours, one of our special guests is going to be Anish Chopra, the chief technology officer of the United States. We've never had one until this administration. And I talked to Anish and said, you got to be here. And he's here. And they really have a big concern about energy. So the new guy that runs ARPA-E, sort of the dark of energy, for the Secretary of Energy, he's going to be here. That's great. There are a lot so you of think people, they get it? You think they get it? There are a lot of people in Washington, on both sides of the aisle, that at least agree on one thing. They keep saying jobs, jobs, jobs. They're each claiming jobs. The good news is they both agree, but I think it isn't just jobs. That's setting your standards too low. And just jobs aren't going to make these kids capable of repaying the $2 trillion of debt we get. They don't need jobs. They need careers. They need to create industries. They need to create wealth by solving major problems. But I think both sides of the aisle in Washington have figured that out. So I think you're going to see everybody in Washington. They might not agree on a lot of other things. They're going to agree that first needs to be in every school in this country. That was Dean Kamen, the founder of DECA Research and the inventor of the Segway. Pretty much his probably best known invention map. But some